welcome back to Blindly Honestly, and if you are new, hello and welcome, and I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So let me ask you guys all to do me a huge favor, and please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video to all your friends. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on today's video, where I'm going to show you how to use a nail stamping kit. So I am not going to show you how to do the actual acrylic nail. I do have a tutorial you guys can watch if you want to see how I do my own acrylics. I will post the link to that video right around here somewhere for you guys. So we are going to go ahead and get started. For this look, I am using Gelish. This is one of my favorite gel polish brands. I bought these off of the Walmart website. I believe these were 25 and for this set of six mini Christmas colors, this is the Nutcracker Combo. I don't really know if this set has anything to do with the Nutcracker movie. It may, it didn't really say if it was a collab with the movie or not, but this is the Nutcracker Combo of the Gelish Minis. In this combo of the Gel Minis, we have Baby It's Bold Outside, and that's the blue. And we all know I love blue. And then we have Don't Toy With My Heart, which is the burgundy red. That is the shade I'm gonna be using mainly. Next, we have Plum Thing Magical, which is, which is a very pretty purple. And You Crack Me Up, which is a glittery green, I think it's just a really thick green glitter. And then we have Dreaming of Gleaming, which is this very, very gorgeous shimmery silver. But it looks kind of gold on the actual brush. I'm hoping it gets thicker as an actual silver. Followed by Just Too Too Much, which is this very shimmery gold. And this one looks much more like the color it's supposed to be. We are also going to be playing with this new stamp set I got from, I think it's Ejubis. And these are very pretty holiday stamps. So we have ornaments, trees, deer, presents, sleigh, Merry Christmas, stockings, snowman, little farmhouse. These are actually really pretty. And then you flip it over, these are like full nail designs. It's the snowflake. Holly, tree, more snowflakes, star, reindeer, Santa. So these are actually really pretty. We're gonna be playing with a few of these. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do yet, so we're gonna kinda wing it. So the first step is to put down a foundation, and this is the Gelish foundation. So you just apply a layer to your nails, put it in the UV lamp for one minute, and then you can go ahead and start adding the new other layers. And this is just a clear layer. You do not need a lot. So we're just going to add just a nice layer on every nail. You don't need a lot because you don't want it to be too thick. But you do want to have a nice layer over the whole nail. And really just one dunk into the bottle gives you enough on the brush to do your whole hand. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in the nail dryer UV light, do my other hand, I'll be right back to start with the color. Okay, now that I have the layer down, I'm going to do a layer of the Don't Toy With My Heart, which is a very pretty burgundy red, on all of the nails except for this one. This one I think I'm gonna do gold or silver or even green, just to mix things up a bit. Hoping you guys can see how gorgeous this color really is. It's gonna need a few layers, I do think, but not too many actually. It, that's why I love gel polish because it can be built up. So that is the Don't Toy with My Heart, just one layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my fingers. Ooh, that gold is gorgeous. 
Fingers crossed that it gets a thicker layer as we layer it up, but I think it's going to. But even if it doesn't, that is still super, super pretty. So that is the first layer of all the colors. I am in love with how that gold looks. I'm gonna keep layering it up and I think it's gonna look really, really pretty as it gets thicker. So yeah, let's do our second layer. I feel like my pointer finger always ends up being the shortest nail every time I do my nails. I don't know why. Oh yeah, the more I layer that, the better it looks. So for the gold nail, yeah, I think I'm gonna use either this one or this one and I'm going to use the silver nail paint for it. Because we are having an ugly sweater party this weekend, so I think this one or this one looks like ugly sweater print. That's gonna be perfect. And then as for the red ones, I'm not really sure what I will do. I do have white, so I may do some snowflakes. I really wish I had green, because you can't unfortunately use um, gel polish on stamp plates because they are too thin or too thick. You have to use a regular polish so that it is thin enough to sit into the creases or the grooves and actually stay. So before I get into the stamping, I'm going to finish this hand off with the gelish top it off is the top coat. So I will do a layer of this and then set the nails and clean them and then I will stamp. So now back into the UV light for one minute. Okay, now that it is done with gel polish, you do have to clean off of the sticky side. So we just take some pure acetone and rub it over the nail. And that will remove the annoying stickiness, as well as any leftover nail or paint around your nail. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my other hand and then I will come back into the stamping. Okay, so now I'm going to do the big nail first. So this is gonna be the gold nail and I'm going to use this right here. It looks kind of foggy because I cleaned it. So I'm going to take the silver. I hope this works. I've never done a stamping before. So this is the jelly stamper and I bought this from Amazon. It came with the jelly stamp and the card. So we're going to put a layer of this silver all over. And this um, is for nail art, but I'm hoping it can still be used for the stamping. Okay, so now there's a nice thick layer on there. I'm going to take the card and kind of smear that off of there. And we'll take our jelly stamp, push it over it. And it did not really pick it up. So that's what it picked up, but it didn't really pick up much. So Let's try again. If it doesn't pick it up, I don't know. It might be because the polish isn't thick enough. I don't know. So let's let that sit there for a little bit. Okay. So now we're gonna try again. There you go, it got it that time. Now we're going to take the jelly stamp, put it right over the nail. You cannot really see it at all. all right, I'm going to clean this again. Maybe I'll try the silver again on the red. It just doesn't work really good on the gold, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm gonna try the white instead and see if that does a better job. Because the silver worked, but it just didn't show up enough, so maybe the white will work better. So we got a nice thick layer. Okay, 
Okay, that time it picked it up. So, we layer it over. That's actually really pretty. So now I'm taking a Q-tip and dipped in nail polish remover and I'm just cleaning up the edge that got on my fingernail. And for the red nail, I am gonna use the silver. So I'm gonna take these snowflakes. I like how the snowflakes look and I wanna do them silver. That is so pretty. Oh, I love it. I wish it was a little bit darker and more pronounced, but it's still very, very pretty. All right, so this is the finished product. It is not that clean and precise, I guess you could say. It's kind of messy. Okay, it is very, very, very messy. I do think the stamping kit has a bit of a learning curve to it. I could definitely have done my nails a bit cleaner. I mean, this is only like my third or fourth, fourth time doing my own acrylics. So I'm still learning with the process and how to make everything smooth and perfect looking. Eventually I will get there, hopefully, maybe. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Click subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.